Hi everyone, in this quick video, I want to show you how you can access the accelerometer on your phone with Godot. I'll show you how to access the values and how to use them in different ways. This video will have a second part where I use my phone as a wireless gamepad to control a game with the accelerometer. Without further ado, let's get started. Reading the values from the accelerometer is very straightforward. You only need to call input.getAccelerometer and you'd get the result in a vector 3. No Note that this will only work on devices that have an accelerometer, of course, such as Android and iOS devices. If the return result is always a vector 3.0, it means the device doesn't have an accelerometer, at least accessible by Godot. From the docs, we can see that the result will be in meter per second squared on Android, which is the platform I'm using. So if we check the accelerometer in the process function and print the values, we get the following. As you can see, when my device is laying flat, both x and y are at 0 and z is at minus 9.8 meter per second squared. This is earth gravity. If I rotate the device, we can see the measurements change and affects x and y. Remember that this measures acceleration, so if the device is not moving, you're measuring gravity. But if you move the device, you're also measuring the acceleration of the device. So values can go beyond 9.8 meter per second squared. Because it's a mobile device, it can be used in multiple orientation. If you want to use the accelerometer to control a player, for example, you need to take into account the device orientation to know which axis you should use. In my case, I've locked the orientation to landscape, so I need to use the x-axis to move a player from left to right, for example. To show you how this can be used, I've made a very simple demo with a kinematic body 2D. As I told you, because my device is in landscape orientation, I want to check the x-axis. Based on that, I can set the movement of my character. I'm using the result from get accelerometer normalized to get a result from minus 1 to 1 and use that to set the x velocity of my player. In the past, I've made two other examples to show you how you can use the accelerometer. This one shows you how to set the gravity in 2D based on the device orientation. And this one controls the maze orientation. This is a common use case in video game as we've seen recently from Breath of the Wild for example. I hope you like this video. As always, you can find all the sources on my GitHub, link in the description. On the next part, I'll be using the phone's accelerometer to control a character, but on another device this time. Basically, the phone will be used as a wireless gamepad. If you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified. Oh, and I launch a Discord server, so if you want to come hang out, talk about game dev and see what I'm working on before the next video, you should definitely join us. Just scan this QR code or use the link in the description. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.